Two endangered species of native fish became the newest residents to the outdoor ponds at the Nina Mason Pulliam Rio Salado Audubon Center. Nearly 500 desert pupfish and 550 Gila top minnows were released into the center's ponds as part of a safe harbor program. Oh, look at them. Look at all of them. The program allows private landowners to participate in conservation by establishing <laughs> populations of threatened and endangered species in areas where they no longer exist. The Audubon Center is the 10th participant enrolled in the program. It's been a long time coming and um, we're so excited to have the fish here. It's thrilling. Audubon, Arizona is extremely excited to uh, provide a safe harbor for two species of endangered fish, the desert pupfish and the Gila top minnow, um, because it's a wonderful conservation activity and it's also tremendous outreach. Um, our visitors, many have no idea that there's native fish in Arizona. This provides a wonderful opportunity to teach them about native fish and to teach them about the importance of healthy habitat. Thanks in large part to support from the Heritage Fund, the department works with partners to reestablish these rare native fish at large, secure ponds across their historical range in Arizona. The Audubon Center ponds are expected to produce thousands of top minnow and pup fish each year for future stockings. The Audubon Center site is the 10th enrolled participant under the Safe Harbor Agreement for Top Minnow and Pupfish. That's a statewide agreement that we got in place a year and a half ago. And since then, we've gotten a number of sites established on various uh, non-federal landowner properties, uh, those being Maricopa County Parks, uh, Game and Fish Properties, as well as uh, cities and um, counties, and uh, schoolyard. The release was carried out through a cooperative effort between the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, Game and Fish, yeah. Audubon, Arizona, the oh, Phoenix Zoo, the City of Phoenix, and the Desert Botanical Garden. It's very satisfying to see the fish leave the bucket. Um, they seem to be right at home as soon as they're out of the chute. The outdoor ponds at the Audubon Center were constructed using a grant from the Heritage Fund. The Heritage Fund is a voter-passed initiative that was started in 1990 to further wildlife <laughs> conservation efforts in the state, including protecting endangered species. Today we put in uh, desert pupfish and Gila top minnow. Those are two endangered native uh, Arizona fish, and both of those fish do very well in relatively shallow, warm water. Um, they are both excellent at mosquito control as well, so we're very happy to have them in our ponds. Although once common throughout most of the Gila River Basin, the Gila top minnow and desert pupfish now naturally occur in only a fraction of their historic range. Habitat loss and alteration and the introduction of non-native fishes have contributed to declines in natural populations of these two species. Both top minnow and pupfish are listed under the Federal Endangered Species Act. Gila top minnow and desert pupfish are a native solution to mosquito control. Um, they make good neighbors. We can get these fish into areas that used to be stocked with uh, non-native mosquito fish. They do the exact same job. They take care of the mosquito larvae. So that's good for uh, human health and safety. Before the threatened top minnow and pupfish could be placed in the ponds, the mosquito fish had to go. Bane of our existence <laughs> for native fish. Mosquito fish are thought to have been brought into Arizona from the Mississippi River drainage for mosquito control and as feeder fish, and they've gotten very widespread across Arizona. And to get rid of the mosquito fish, we did a series of chemical renovations as well as uh, trapping using minnow traps. Mosquito fish are very similar in the habitat use and feeding preferences of uh, top minnow. Mosquito fish are better able to outcompete uh, the top minnow just by sheer numbers and their ability to be you know, more successful in reproduction. A very exciting aspect of this project is that not only are we doing cons real conservation work here by having the fish in this pond that provides a wonderful habitat for them, and we expect them to be very prolific here, um, but we're also able to teach our visitors that come to the center about native fish and about their plight in Arizona and what can be done to help them. Thank you.